So I'm gonna build out, start off with a basic chord progression. So here's a basic chord progression in the C minor scale. All right. So what I'm about to do is lay out the melody. I might change the sound later. doesn't need to be complicated at all. It's all about spacing. Whatever. I'm gonna change this sound though. Thank you, bro. I wanna give it like a Juice World vibe. so far so what I'm gonna do is strum these notes so I'll S strum a little bit put the velocities down and then you just wanna just trim the excess cut it paste it command B so there we go. And so what I'm gonna do is change the sound. This sound right here is hard.
Nick Mira's fire songs, bro. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... I'll start off with that bell pad. And then, since I got the bell pad... Paste this. And then I'm going to change this to an ARP. But I'm gonna cut all the melodic notes and just have it play the chords. Same thing over here. You're gonna wanna cut all the melodic notes and just play the chords. The Chernobyl kit is crazy. It has this fire piano. the other sounds to make sure each one fits in the uh, spectrum because when you look at the mixer you want to have keys hitting on each side you want to have them hitting in the highs the mids and then cut out the lowest for your 808s take out all the uh, chords on this last one. Change the sound out again. Each room has fire stuff too. 
There we go. Let's see how that sounds. It's dark, but it still has that bounce where you can vibe to. channel and then play each one individual um, and make sure the master is hitting at 12 db like the you want the peak to hit at 12 db in the um, actual the actual uh, volume channel not within the mixer because you want everything to be leveled beforehand so see that one's peaking right about 12 db all right so now it's time for this song now we have this song peaking about 15 so what i'm gonna do raise it up just a little bit I'm gonna go here raise it up so it's peaking right about 12 db as well same thing with this song right here this one's actually very loud So I'm gonna lower just a little bit. Cause it got that bounce to it. Last one. Go look at the master. And I'll open this window right here. I can raise this up because I'm gonna lower it within the um the channels right here. But you wanna have everything enough room. This is a very, very ambient sound, so you want to make sure it has enough space and fit in, because you're going to want to pan these sounds. You're going to want to pan this one a little bit, that one, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, my i got this electo kit um the other day for um pretty much the all the retro sounds so i'm gonna go ahead and put um i'll show you guys in a second and then i'll show you the difference of each one This one. All right, one more. All right, so now y'all hear the difference. The retro, the retro vibes analog shit. And then, so what you want to do is go here. I believe this is in mono. And then 
just want to lower it just a little bit. Turn the metronome, the metronome on. And this is before you even master it. Because remember, we turned it down and turned them up in the channel to make sure they have headroom for the vocals. And you always want to make sure you um, cut out your lows for your 808s. You want this sound to stick out. And then you want to reset. Turn the metronome off. And then what I'm going to do is put my master on. I have this signature master that I use in Ozone. split them by channel I didn't name these yet so to arrange a sample you want to um, put them on the uh, split them by channel and then pretty much paste everything in the channel and then, so this is gonna be your intro right here I'm gonna start off with these two into the chorus. This is where the first part of the chorus will be. This is the second part of the chorus. And then now you're going into your verse right here. So you wanna just take parts away. Doesn't matter, you can take this part away and this part. And just hear the variation. This part, take that away. It's the third verse. I mean, the um, third part of the verse right here. The melodic bounce. And then right here, you could either do a pre chorus or uh, add the uh, full 16. You don't need to. And this is pretty much how you arrange a sample. And then all you're gonna do is export it. That's pretty much it, guys. And then from here on, you just do the drums, you know what I'm saying? Get 808s, not gonna always tune your 808s, always have your 808s in key with your root note of the melodies and the chords. And then always cut your 808s, trim your 808s, cut your 808s. Can't have badass 808s out here. We gotta get these bags, gotta get these motherfucking placements, nigga. You know what I'm saying?